So yeah. So this is actually uh, one of our desktops that sits in a in a in a, in a cloud. That it's essentially it's sitting in East Coast. So what you're seeing here is the performance of the product, even though it's a pretty far away you know, VM. Yeah. So one of the things I want to show you here is that so even though you can use the your finger to access it, to, to, uh, for the mouse click itself, but it's, it's somewhat cumbersome, and especially from this altitude, if I want to actually click on any of these things, it's almost next to impossible, right? So that's why we developed um, we did a lot of user testing, and then from that uh, we came up with this with this product. So this is the advanced mouse cursor, and what you do is you put your finger on here, and you get to use this. And now the tip of this guy is a pretty uh, you know pretty accurate mouse cursor. So at this point, I can essentially go back and I click on my my dot right? So it's like having a, a miniature map. Exactly, exactly. So then um, let me go back and then click on the start menu. Go back. Notice that the mouse overs are even kicking in, right? So there we go. And then um, also this mouse is, is almost, it's, it's kind of like a, uh, um, uh, um, it's a Swiss Army knife. You can click on this um, plus sign, and then this gives you the right click, and this one gives you the keyboard. Okay. Cool. Right. So there's all that. Now there's um, so let me go ahead and for example open up this particular image that somebody sent over to us to actually take a look at. There you go. So this is an image that. On the page folder for the back of the monitor for white things on, right? I can essentially look at it, you know, go down to the high resolution mode and just see what it is. Right? And you just got access to all the same files that you exactly. would. Exactly. This is the same desktop that the normal sync client would, would get access to or your PC. It's the same thing. I can open up this, uh, you know, bar, Excel sheet and figure out what's going on here. And it's opened up. So that's my Excel right there. And notice that also from a security perspective, right? Let's say I use the phone, right? My this Excel document stuff that I'm looking at, it doesn't matter. I didn't lose any of that. It's all happening on the server. So then again, going back to the philosophy of why server side computing, right? So this fits directly to that. So there's all that, and then um, also uh, we are we offer um, a free Windows companion that uh, you can get from our website. Once you purchase the product, that's free, and when you install that, other features get enabled. For instance. Um, automatic keyboard activation. Let's say I want to type something in the that, right? I can always activate the keyboard manually, or if you have a companion installed, you can always click on this and it activates the keyboard automatically. I can start typing by saying, hey, um, IT Pro. Oops, I get the correct one. And even when the keyboard is up, you can actually zoom in. You have full control of that little portion of the area, right? And when you're done with that, if you click outside of it, automatically it dismisses the keyboard, right? So that's you know the experience that we're trying to improve here. The other thing is, um, a lot of our customers they were asking for, um, you know, the Internet Explorer they want to get access to because they've seen ActiveX installed, the security modules installed, Java, Flash, Civil Lot, right? So you could always fire up Internet Explorer by logging back to your, you know, de desktop or your session, and then um, using Internet Explorer right here. As I'm, gonna, as I'm about to show you right here. There we go. So Internet Explorer comes back on, but you can see this, this application was developed for a desktop experience, not a mobile experience, right? So to alleviate the problem uh, of this convoluted UI system, as soon as you have that uh, three windows companion, what happens is there's another option that gets enabled here, Steam Browser. You get press that, now all of a sudden the UI changes, you get you get to have a URL bar, go forward, go backwards, and you don't see the desktop anymore. And this also resizes itself to accommodate the website the, the website that you're looking at. Right? So let me do this. So let me let me go back to wise.com. iPhone UI, my iPhone UI experience, right? So that's our website. Let me just press this to go forward. And that's our website, right? And then these these items that are actually moving at the bottom, that's flash. Right? If I want to if I want to browse that website in a full screen mode, not a problem. Just press this again, it removes both things. So that's the website. Okay, let's just read let's just read a bunch of these um 
Oh yeah, let's read the press release for the Banger Club right here. There we go. I can just click on that. Take the pick. And notice the speed of it. So when you have a good internet connection, the it's server side. So you're utilizing the power of your your big machine, not the iPhone itself. The iPhone actually just displays itself for you, right?